If you want to learn how to do market research for your Facebook ads fast to find the key targeting interest using only Audience Insights and Google, that's it. That's all I'm going to use. Stay tuned for this whole entire video because I'm going to do market research for a niche I know really nothing about and find key targeting interest that I could use possibly for my Facebook ad, ads if I was running this for a client. What's going on YouTube? It's Aaron here back again in another video. And this one's gonna be about how to do market research for your Facebook ads. So pretty much what market research is, is that in, in regards to Facebook ads, is you wanna find key interests that you can use to target those people who are already interested in buying what you're selling on Facebook ads. Facebook has so many interests and so much data but sometimes if you choose the generic interests, if you choose the generic parameters, they could cost you quite a fortune because everyone's choosing that. But if you do the strategy, which I'm gonna show you guys right here, literally 90% of Facebook marketers aren't utilizing this. So you can use this to get a leg up and get your ads to show for cheaper by targeting the interests that aren't as saturated. And as always, I post lots of valuable Facebook ads content on this page on this YouTube channel. So please subscribe, click the subscribe button and click the like video. It helps me out, especially with this YouTube algorithm. As you can see, I'm a young and growing channel. So every subscribe, every subscription really matters so much. So pretty much I'm going to try to find interest for dentists. So I'm saying, I'm going to pretend that I have a dentist client, a dentist client right now. And I want to run interest for people who are interested in dentistry and who want, you know, their teeth whiten or oral surgery or something like that. Okay, so the very first thing that you would want to do is you want to go onto Google actually and pretty much search how to, and then solve customer pain point. So pretty much is what I would do. So for any industry needs. So let's say we want to find people that want, that need braces. So pretty much you're going to need you would need braces to fix your teeth. So I'm going to search how to fix crooked teeth. And from this is going to be a lot of searches, a lot of ads. So these people here are paying to actually show up on the search results with Google ads. So like, oh, Smile Direct Club. So people who are into Smile Direct Club obviously want their teeth straightened. And so let's see if that's an interest, Smile Direct Club. Is that an interest? Uh, I don't think it is. Maybe let's try it all at one. Smile Direct Club. Oh, I guess not. Okay. So you can also start with Audience Insights as well. So braces, we could just start with that. And well, this one's invisible braces, so page likes. And sometimes some of these interests aren't gonna really have much data because uh, Facebook has a lot of data, but they don't have data on completely everything. So braces and smiles. Oh, wow. Surprise. There's nothing on that, too. Okay. So you can also start with teeth. So white teeth. There has to be something here. Okay, good. So see the page likes. People who like like white teeth. Like Zadie Smith. So that's one thing. Uh, Gladwire. Low VA rates, I guess. <laughs> so Zade, Zadie Smith blogger so there obviously there are a lot of different aspects you can use to get started but let's start with google so here are the first batch of interest that you could see are on audience insights or on facebook so you could use smile direct club which i'm surprised they're not on facebook and which i'm surprised it's not an interest i'm sorry invisalign versus braces for crooked teeth so you can go on to this website so let's go on this website dental plans and see what exactly they recommend you do if you have crooked teeth, you want to, what I look for is names of products or services that could be a possible interest that we could target. So for example, let me look here, uh, Invisalign. I keep seeing Invisalign, right? So let's try Invisalign and then see if that's a possible interest. I guess it's not. Huh. Okay. That's true. So, okay. So of course not all these things are going to be interests, but you still, it's still you still want to check on audience insights. So you only really need one thing, 
And then once that one thing, you can just see a whole bunch of other information that you could possibly use. So let's how to fix crooked teeth. Uh, five ways to fix crooked teeth. So let's see. Let's see what WikiHow has for us in store. Orthodontist, of course. So obviously you can also just start with um, dentist as well. So if you really can, if you don't even know the pain point of a specific customer, you can just start with dentist and then you can see a lot of other interests that are, you have to use your common sense. So obviously you don't want to target bank of America people with a dentist ad for the most part, right? So you have to obviously make sure it makes sense. Home remedies is somewhat of a good one, but again, this doesn't really give you lots of good information to really use at the start. So that's why we go on websites here. Ask your orthodontist. Uh, let's try orthodontist. Copy it. And we'll paste it here. Orthodontics, yeah. X that. And then see what they like. Okay. Yeah, see, these aren't really much great interest, like Ikea for the most part. And you want to make... And you want to try to find interest too, that only people who are really, really inclined on fixing their teeth are going to want to do. Okay, so retainer. Okay, so use a retainer for minor problems. So let's search this up. So we got a word, so retainer. So teeth retainers. And um, let's see, let's see the different brands that have them. Candid, uh, clear aligners, affordable, clear retainers. So... But, but me, um, affordable teeth straighteners, uh, teeth retainers on Amazon. Another great place you can find uh, possible interests and pain points is Amazon reviews as well. So brands. Let's try that. Okay, so Sporting Smiles, Candid Co., Smile Devet Club, Clear Retainer. So again, you would go on to Audience Insights and see if they actually have that here. So let's try clear retainer. That's an interest. Retain. Nope. Okay. So obviously this is a, a bunch of trial and error. Seeing do they have this? Do they not have this? Candid Co. Let's try that. They do not. Uh. Nope. I don't see it. Um. Can keep going. Clear retainer. See, there's a lot of different stuff you can test. So just go on to them see if it's on audience insights and then see the page likes and see the demographics see what they also like and then you can jot that down as a possible interest you can target use a retainer but you see what i'm saying so the first step you want to do you want to see pretty much how a person would solve this problem and then you want to target those brands who are solving that problem for the most part so if you can't find anything with that way, no problems. There are a bunch of other things you can Google as well. So another important thing that you want to do when you do market research is you want to see what kind of books, magazines, gurus, or blogs that these people are going to follow when they are trying to fix their teeth for the most part. So we can literally type in top five books about fixing teeth. And then we can even go a little level deeper. So you want your teeth to be fixed because you want a better smile. So you can do top five books about getting a better smile or top five books about having a uh, better oral, better oral health or something like that. So tooth cure, tooth decay, tooth regrowth, the tooth book. Um, let's see, cure tooth decay. So let's see if that's a possible thing. Cure tooth. Oh, we can also look up toothpick, but I doubt that's going to be anything. Uh, but then sometimes, you know, you're going to like type something in. It's like, oh, this is another interest that could be possibly interesting. So cure tooth decay, books about baby teeth. So there's not really much books that we can go ahead and target. So since we're not having much luck with Google or with Audience Insights, let's now go on to a competitor's Facebook page. Okay, so I go on to now a Facebook page. And now I see all these different pages and I just type in just the generic thing, dentist, and I see the singing dentist. So let's see if possibly um, singing, if that's an interest, dentist is not. So 
but we can still gain ideas of what other aspects we can target. So you can see that this person, I mean, posts on their page. They haven't posted on their, they post on their page recently for the most part. It's like a week from this video. Um, we can see if they're running ads and they are running ads. So we want to go to the library ad library. And then you want to see what from these ads are actually uh, what what are these what are our competitors doing for the most part? So this person isn't running ads. So this is strange because it just said that they're running ads, but maybe just I can't see them for the most part. <laughs> Toothy gang. <laughs> oh god, Toothy gang. Um, let's see. Not videos. You want to go into their about section. So obviously this process is not just you can just immediately just find interest. This process does take time. But here's an idea. I actually didn't think of this. Promoting oral health. Okay, so let's see if that can do something. Let's let's see if that's a interest oral health. What up, like oral health? Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. See, we have finally found something. <laughs> so, even so, there are a lot of different ways you can go about and find interests and targets. Most people would have probably just given up and you know just cried and just put typed in dentist as an interest and then do it from there. But we can go to Water Picks Oral Health and see the other interests they have here. So let's see, Water Pick Oral Health. So let's actually visit this page and see what they're all about. And we want to make sure that this page actually matches our, our target customer of who we want to target. So let's see, Did you do you floss today? We can look up that. So we can look up different floss brands. So if a person actually goes to a Facebook page and likes a Facebook page about flossing, you can tell that they really care about their teeth a lot. So they will be a perfect customer to actually uh, target. So these people look like they're just, you know, about toothbrushes. So this seems to be like a toothbrushing brand. So yeah, I would, I would definitely target that as an interest. So we can get rid of the singing dentist for now. And that's because I'm just exploring. I literally go onto a Facebook page and just explore. Okay, so now let's see what other interests we can find. So dimensions of dental hygiene. So these are all interests that you should be jotting down, you should be writing down, that you could use to potentially target people on Facebook. So dimensions of dental hygiene. And just to also point out, some of these pages won't be available uh, when you actually go to target on Facebook, which is annoying. But hey, that's just the game when it comes to Facebook ads for the most part. Facebook ads isn't really a, the perfect system, but it is a system that does work for many people. So we want to see, okay, managing pain with aesthetics. So this page does fit our, our demographics. So we're going to write that down. Dentistry, IQs, RDH Magazine, uh, Termix, and yeah, so these are all things. American Dental Association. If you like the American Dental Association, you're either, you're most likely a dentist if you actually like that for the most part. But again, we look at it and see um, if this fits our demographic. So now we don't want to look about t fixing teeth. We want to look about type top five books about oral health. Let's try that. And then the dental diet, we can see that. These are all these different things that you could just go into audience insights, see if there's interest in that. And then we can gain even more and more interest. So you can see how this could just be just a whirlwind of just interest and just how you can get so many interests just from just taking an hour, 30 minutes or less, even longer, just to go and explore all the possible different interests you can have. And of course, you can also test using the genetic interests as well, but those are gonna be a lot more expensive. That's what everyone's doing. The, like no one else is pretty much doing, they're taking their time and doing the market research for the most part. And of course, I don't, it's not just top five books. Uh, you wanna look up the top five websites and then those, those could be possible interests. You can want to have top five websites and you can even talk about the top five gurus when it comes to oral health. Gurus is a really good one because if someone actually goes in and likes and likes a person who does that uh, specific thing, you can tell that they're very interested. It's not just some generic person who just like that page for the most part. And then we can even we can go back to our flossing idea and go top five top uh, flossing brands. And then we can see uh, Oral B. So if you literally go onto a Facebook page and you go and like Oral B, 
you care about your teeth a lot and you care about flossing, so let's type that as an interest. All, all B. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, well, oh wow, there's no demographics and stuff. Interesting. Well, you can see the demographics and stuff, so you can. So pretty much you would only want to target uh, 62% women, 38% men, so you would target both. But you would only really want to target people who are from 25 to uh, 65 plus for the most part. But yeah, so then you can just go onto your Facebook ad set and then type in the different interests that you see. So one last thing, one last tip I want to give you is you want to look at your competitors. So for example, let's stick with all B. Do you want to do all B versus, and then you can see all the different competitors that are there. So you can see Sonicare, Philips, uh, Colgate. So we can go and target people who like Colgate. Uh, this is kind of a generic interest as well. Uh, so I wouldn't really want to target this, but cause like, for example, people who like Colgate are also like Radio Shack for the most part. So you can see that a wider variety of people like Colgate. So this may not be the perfect targeting uh, metric for you, uh, like Colgate and really Snapple for the most part, cause it's such a big brand that a lot of people are gonna like that. So this is the generic interest that people think are the, is the gold mine? No, but you can still use it to get ideas. And then you can, what you can also do is, let's go on Colgate's Facebook page actually. So pretty much what we're gonna do here is we're gonna see what kind of ads they are running. So we're gonna look at Colgate's ads and see pretty much how they're, how they're running, what they're doing, and see like what they're offering their, their customers because we know with this big company, they spend like billions of dollars on market research. So they know the end result that the customer wants to be in. So bright smiles and bright futures. So we can look up something more about how to get a smile. So as you can see, there's a lot of different aspects that we can go into. So pretty much just as a summary of everything I talked about into this video, the first thing you wanna do is you want to either go on to audience insights or just type in that generic interest and start exploring from there and just jotting down every interest you can possibly see or you want to go into google and you want to type in how to and then fix pain point and then you want to see the products and services that are mentioned there and then see if there are possible targets on facebook and if that's not the case then you want to actually go on to facebook type in the genetic interest again and look at the pages, look at their about sections, look at what they say, look at their ads, see what type of things they're offering. And then you can use that as an interest. And then with the power of audience insights, once you find one interest, you can get into a treasure trove of data. And not a lot of people are doing this. They're just targeting things like Colgate. They're probably targeting like other big mouth, like Crest toothpaste and whatever for the most part, right? So that's how you find the interest that no one else is targeting you go into you you have to go down deep and you have to do your market research and you have to just type in okay what what would the what and you just have to think what would the customer type in what would the customer be looking for if they want to improve this and then you're going to get more ideas to be able to target whoever you want onto facebook and you're going to find interests that you never thought were possible like and the thing the best thing is you only need one interest and then once you do that with audience insights and just just how things just and just how things develop, you're going to be able to find a whole truckload of other interests. So that is how you do market research. So if you like this video, again, please leave a thumbs up and then watch the video over there where I talk about different aspects and more aspects about finding interests that no one else is targeting on Facebook. And it's all going to be in my playlist, which I have here, how to target like a pro on Facebook. I'll see you guys in that video and I hope you guys enjoy.